I have the pleasure to to present here in the festival the uh, Julian Schnabel uh, uh, private portrait, a film that Papi made, a documentary, and I would like to know how do you meet together, how the th this idea came to you, some. Now? Small stories, you can tell, okay. yes. <laughs> okay, first of all, I want to thank Paolo, because really, it's my first time in the Portugal, and be here with the, with the documentary is, is better than just come here and visit, because it's like a more, I mean, it's something add to, uh, to come in a beautiful place. So I'm really thankful at um, Paolo. Well, I know I, Julian's an artist, of course, from the 70s and in the 80s, but then I had the chance to meet personally Julian through uh, another artist, a mutual friend, Francesco Clemente, which is a Napolitan Italian uh, artist who lives in New York. And through him, I, I met Julian. Julian just uh, made two movies, Basquiat and uh, Before Nightfall. And I, I was a super fan uh, of his work. So, um, so we, get, we get just, we met and we became, I think, quite soon friend, at least since then we've been seeing each other and uh, and for me being with Julian, being in, in his house, being his friend was like uh, being in a movie because among all the artists that I work with and uh, and also the among his work and that I love, I mean for me Julian is uh, like a, a character for, 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 for from a movie, I mean the way he, he moves, the more he, he dressed, the, the way he is, I mean, his personality for me is like, uh, could be from a, you know, Orson Welles movie. And, uh, and. Or you mean that I was more like Orson Welles? Yeah, <laughs> also, also physically. So for me, and, uh, and uh, so since I, I, I usually make movies, so, and I'm, pas I'm totally in love with movies. So for me, Julian was uh, uh, kind of like Citizen Kane character, I mean, <laughs> alive, and, um, but also because, as I say, to know Julian, it's kind of like, uh, really, it's, it's, it's quite an experience, because... Uh, you can like understand he can't explain it, that's why he made the movie. No, 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 I can explain. No, because, it, you know, I, I know that I'm, I'm seeing something that's personal, it's private, but you see in the movie anyway. No, because it's like an hurricane, really. It's like a tsunami, I don't know. Something very big that takes you and whatever happens, you are in, in, you know, in the wave or whatever. You, you basically lose your house and your, every, your furniture. Yes, right, yes. When you say, right, <laughs> totally. So, and, uh, so, and I, I asked him, why don't we make a documentary on you? I, you know, I've been working with other artists. I'm, I'm not naming anyone, but they're quite... Some he time. made a lot of documentaries uh, on different artists, very beautiful ones. A beautiful one about Richard Serra. Where yes. It was, there was a giant sculpture in the middle of this plaza in, uh, in, in, in Naples, and uh, after you walk through this sculpture, you walk through, I'm going to tell what happens, because uh, they might not see it, but you should watch it, because... Next year. Anyway, you walk through this giant sculpture with these huge pieces of Corten steel, and uh, this very beautiful music from... 2001 Space Odyssey, and then after you walk through these giant steel walls, you find in the center a chimpanzee. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> anyway, then he's got another one. There are these pigs that go to the beach. <laughs> and then he yeah. decided to make a movie about me after that. <laughs> so, also, is the and first. Next one is about God. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Now we're yeah, getting but, into but trouble. I want to say something before about this movie. I mean, of course, I was talking today with uh, another great right, director, and uh, we were talking about making documentaries. Sometimes people think that making documentaries they are more real than to make a you know a fiction movie, and uh, of course it's, it's not from my my point of view. There is always someone who's looking something else, even though it's catching the reality, there's always a, a, a point of view that, of course, is not the, your point of view. So, and that makes a little fake, you know, and this particular movie, I'm a fake maker. I mean, I like to play on, you know, to, to represent things. And so you're sincerely disingenuous. Totally. 
Yeah, <laughs> but in a good way. I mean, I think it's nice to use things and make it your own thing. In this case, I have to say, I bordered Julian's life. I have to admit it now publicly. And uh, <laughs> to make my own movie, because Julian for me represents what really means to be an artist, what really means to be focused on your art. Maybe doesn't uh, share with ideas with me of himself, but for me really, Julian, uh, among all the artists that, I, that I've been working with, really there is something special and different, especially in the energy, that's what really, really struck me about Julian. There's something that is not really common in general in the artist. Most of the time, if you are with an artist, you fall asleep. Because they're kind of boring, let's say it. Especially if they talk about their art or something. <laughs> but with Julian, you, you cannot get bored at all. But you get tired because it's like, ah, but not bored, that's for <laughs> sure. And um, so that's, so what I did, I used is kind of like, experience and I made like my own experience and also there's something that I I feel that I'm very moved by that uh, even though Julian looks like and I was like a cowboy man but there is something so sensitive about him that you don't find easily uh, you wouldn't expect from uh, a guy like him and uh, I don't know if you agree but uh, you know to yeah. make a movie like b before Netfall or um, uh, what's it, the other name, uh, the diving band, the butterfly, uh, it's not the ten What about the Ten Commandments? You did it? Yeah, the Ten Commandments. <laughs> no. So, and there's something very... Spartacus? No. Yes. You're not mentioning Spartacus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I'm saying is, uh, and so there are so many things about Julian that really surprised me, and that's why I made the movie. I don't know if I was clear. I don't know if I'm clear. I mean, my English is good. I'm very tired. I'm sorry. I've been working all day. <laughs> so, but, uh, okay. Okay, now, we were sitting here talking because we were f waiting for a friend to get here so she could see the movie. And now she came so we could stop talking to you. <laughs> That's why this introduction is so long. Yes. But okay. I, I don't, do we have to do it? Do we do the Q&A afterwards? If you feel like it. A Q&A before they see the movie? No, afterwards. <laughs> yeah. he, uh, Papi will be here at the end to make I will not be here. Okay. But we'll he be will. The movie will be here, but it's okay. <laughs> right. Anyway, okay. I think he did a... I think he did an excellent job. I was very touched by the whole thing. It's very embarrassing. I didn't want to do it. I told him I didn't want to do it, but he did it anyway. Yeah, I have to say. Yeah, uh, for, for almost... Uh, Six months I was asking every day, shall we start? Shall we start? <laughs> In the end, we finally started, but after six, no, four, four three, four months. Because I mean, many things happened also between, and, but, uh, okay. Anyway, it's finished. Uh, shall we say, enjoy your movie? Yeah, enjoy I his mean, movie. Enjoy this movie. I'm sorry, my movie. Enjoy his movie. <laughs> well, I have to say that Julian, um, uh, I mean, uh, apparently he looks untouchable or very difficult to get, you know, in touch with. In the end, it's just the way, I mean, it's very easy, uh, just the opposite. He's totally without any kind of, um, I would say, mask or he doesn't mm, present himself different from what it is. It's really like an open book, so it's easy to get in touch with him. I mean, if you have... Of course, yes, to uh, let you, you know, be in touch with him. But uh, it's very easy to understand. Also, working with him and look his movie many times, I really felt that m most of the movies that, you know, usually when the director make a movie, there's always something about him. It's difficult that he, an author makes a movie about something else that is totally far away from him. So in this case, even though, as I said before, it looks, this movie uh, apparently looks uh, uh, very, uh, you know, far away from him. In, in, instead, they are very close, to, I mean, it really represents himself, especially the last two movies that we saw before Nightfall and uh, Diving Bell. There is something that really, it's about Julian. So I get to know him also because I was watching his movie and also to be with, and you, you, know, you know Julian too, so it's, um, 
it's really like an, uh, it doesn't have I don't know boundaries. It doesn't have any kind of like uh, pretend to be something else in real life or publicly, you know, in public life. So it's kind of for me it was easier. And and it, as I said, it's something that I feel the same. There's something about him that I I can see myself in him somehow. And uh, I think that's why I I don't know if I really catch you know his his soul, but <laughs> I, I thought so, and uh, that's what um, as I said before, when you make a movie, you you tell something about yourself. And in this case, through him, I say something about myself. So and and also, I don't know if really that's this Julian, but for me, that's Julian too. <laughs> I think. I don't know if I was clear in this labyrinth that I just m made up, but um, I hope so. Oh, and, um, and just to, uh, uh, to know why Julian Schnabel and not any other artist? Now, as I said, I, I met many artists, very interesting, some that are very interesting, a very great artist, but uh, as I say, also aesthetically, Julian is very cinematic, cinematic kind of type. It's, it's not uh, a quiet and, you know, I'm, I'm very, also when I make my movies, they're very bright, with lots of colors. Uh, they're very, a little bit over the top. They're not in, intimist kind of movie. I make movies that are a little bit more ironic, uh, more uh, not realistic, like in, in the style, you know. Saint Julian, it's not realistic. I mean, it's not an, like an average kind of type, you no. Know? And for me, that's already something that. Um, in fact, I, I, you know, tell you the truth. Usually, when I work on some uh, some installation, I put much more of myself when I make this kind of movie. <clears throat> With Julian, I didn't have to do too much because yes, you know, it's already something. You know, I work also with. Gilbert and George, which are two English artists, with Luigi Ontani, which is also another Italian artist, and they really represent themselves in their work. And Julian somehow is like that. I mean, he's, he's, he's a representation of his work, also physically, the way he talks, the way he moves. And so I didn't do too much to tell about him. I didn't, um, in the sense that as I say, when I, when I before we say about the the the, the work at the installation of Richard Serra, I had to put a monkey because for me that would give a little life to the opera, to the to the installation. With Julian, I didn't do that because it's so full of many things like uh, creativity and it does so many things that you don't need to um, add anything on top of him. I don't know. And how long it took? How many times? How many months <laughs> it took? Well, how no, it was? We was it was like shooting was two almost two years, but like six months. And then I went back to Italy, and then I I meet him in uh, San Paolo because he has the, the show there. And then I went back to New York for the three months, and then six months. And uh, but the, the 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 best and 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 the really heavy moment was in the editing room, because I started with eighty hours between my material, material from his archive, so it was a really uh, a huge, huge amount of material. So to, from 80 hours to arrive to 80 minutes was, um, was tough, I have to say. That's why I say when, uh, when I sent to Julian the first 50 minutes, we were like shaking, we said, after nine months, he would say, I hate it. I, you know, I was really, was a disaster if he would, you know. Instead, he was very moved by the, so finally, <laughs> after nine months, at least he liked it, so we were happy. But it was a, a, a huge process. And also afterwards, uh, to use some music, of, you know, the, 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 this other part of the, you know, the process was also very tiring and long. But uh, the shooting was almost two years, more or less. I mean. And uh, did he, uh, by any chance, uh, give you any direction or something, or he let you completely free? I was totally free, surprisingly, because I thought Julian would come there and say, change this, do that, and, and he didn't, thank God. 
<laughs> because as I said, after nine months, work again, and uh, and no, I have to say, and you didn't. Maybe some picture. No, what happened was the opposite. He gave me a lot of material afterwards because he liked it. So, but I, I said, listen, I need some pictures. We don't need some picture of you know. So he gave me thousands of pictures. So it was just the opposite. I mean, he gave me lots of uh, stuff after he see the, the first draft. So, but no, I think he liked it. I don't know. No, I know. So. I know he liked it, but <laughs> uh, yeah. Any question? No, also because Julian is very tough, could be really tough. So if you didn't like it, you would say it easily. Huh? Because Julian is very, you know. Yeah, I know. It's very clear, very yeah. direct. So if I you know, didn't really like it, you would say it. Yeah. And he was here with us. It's you know a proof that he really yeah. liked the movie. You yeah. know, if not, yes. He, he, when he, he when he oh. came to Portugal, he didn't yeah. know that I was doing a tribute to him. He thought that he was coming only to for your film. Yeah. When he arrived, he discovered that I was showing the other films. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Also, I, when I was uh, editing the movie, not before. In, I, I knew that Julian, uh, the BBC made the documentary on Julian, he, he stopped it because he didn't like it. So, <laughs> so I was also aware of this kind of attitude, risk. that <laughs> risk. It's kind of so, so. <clears throat> yeah. Hi. Uh, uh, you said you, uh, when you work with an artist, you identify yourself with the artist and you, uh, so what did you, tell about yourself with this movie, especially because many, uh, the Portuguese audience doesn't know probably your filmography, so what's the relationship between your films and okay. this film? Okay, now what I meant before I said that when a director makes a movie, most of the time talks about himself, it's, even though the story is not biograph you know, uh, biographic, but still you talk about yourself at least I do, but most of the people, the director that I know, somehow, of course, they, they talk about themselves. That's what I meant before. And uh, well, about Julian, there is um, uh, the way he approach life, the way the relationship with, with his parents, there are this very personal uh, situation that I felt uh, very close to to Julian, uh, something very personal, but not, not because I don't want to say my personal <laughs> things, but um, but there is something uh, about the human side that I feel in touch with him, and because you know I know him personally, so we we share many experience together, and um, in that sense, that's what I I mean about Julian. But of course, he's totally different from me. Also, the movie that he makes are totally different from my movies. But also, there is something that about colors that I, I like, something that I use very much. So there are many things that, that I, I feel in touch. But you should see my movie. And Paolo said that next year is going to make my retrospective. So here, so next year we have, have a chance to understand. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe there you find what uh, he doesn't want to answer exactly. <laughs> Any question? <laughs> no. I know that is uh, okay. Then the, um, there is anything? Why you know? Because at, uh, we finish. You finished that at uh, when last the last years. So. In May, yeah, almost last year. There is no. No, this year I, I finished right. like was. There is no reference to his last movie. Miral, it didn't work. Miral? Yes. Well, I have to say, we didn't talk about it. I mean, <laughs> also because I was talking about more than the movie. Uh, sometimes we were talking about relationship, about women, the, you know, life and the stuff. And we never really talked about Miral. He didn't talk. I didn't ask. Uh, <laughs> Many reasons. I didn't see. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but also because for me those the one that I showed they are more the one that I I was in touched by. I have to say, Mirali is a good movie, but it didn't strike me as uh, the other ones. Okay. 
Well, I think next year we'll have Papi with us. And uh, thank you. No, thank you, thank you. I'm ready to come back next year. And I think it was <laughs> really, for me, it was really a pleasure to have you here and to have this documentary because I think it gave us anyway something about Julian that it's uh, very touchy and human and sometimes this kind of uh, personality we have we don't understand very well how, how no, really they have they are in this relation for example with the family and things like that this father more than everything you know mm -hmm. is something that is is uh, it uh, and the relation with the films because you know we could think you know that you know a painter so famous so painter to do films could be just a joke and for him is not a joke no. it's really something really important yeah and that i think something that you understand we understand when you see your your uh, documentary you know i'm glad thanks no because i think julian really sometimes is being misunderstood as a person as an artist and i don't think it's fair and uh that's why also i felt it was right to make a movie and tell about him the way he i think he is and uh because really, there was a misunderstanding with Julian, as you said before, about the movies. Also, as they say in the documentary. So, um, anyway, anyway, thank you for staying so far. <laughs> and thank you to you too, of course. Okay. Thank you.